Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and this is almost seven ounces of pure gallium. In a previous video, I placed gallium inside of a homemade centrifuge on a warm sunny day to create an adjustable liquid mirror that concentrates sunlight. Gallium has a low melting point just below 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and in its molten state, gallium becomes almost 99% reflective. When gallium cools and hardens, it usually has a dull surface. In this video, I will show you a simple method for obtaining a mirrored surface with solid gallium. While using a large Fresnel lens to melt gallium is a bit of overkill, it does work fast and, well, it looks kind of awesome. At about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the gallium can easily be poured into a plastic tub without melting the plastic. If you want a mirrored surface when gallium hardens, you can forget about buffing it because gallium is way too soft. For a true mirrored surface, the gallium must be poured into a form that has an ultra smooth surface like this blister packaging for safety goggles. The advantage of using a clear mold is visibly determining if the gallium will maintain a mirrored surface. If it looks good against the mold surface when molten, then it should look good once it is released from the mold. After remelting the gallium and pouring it into a parabolic base mold, an additional extremely smooth acrylic parabolic shape was pressed into place. I also poured water on top of the outer part of the mold to act as a weight and speed up the cooling process. When released, the back side of the mold still had the protective plastic in place, resulting in the gallium copying the mildly frosted surface of the plastic. With the gallium still attached to the acrylic front mold, I tested it to see if the small surface area of gallium was enough to burn a piece of wood. I carefully released the gallium from the ultra smooth mold and the result was a beautiful first surface mirror with a few minor imperfections. The pure gallium standalone mirror worked great as a small solar mirror. After a few minutes of sun exposure, the gallium began to warm up and the surface was soon ready for another project. While using gallium is very impractical for solar projects, it can be useful for large telescope mirrors where the gallium can be worked with in an ultra clean, temperature controlled environment. So if you need a great temporary mirrored surface, gallium is a great option. One note, the parabolic mirrors available on our website, greenpowerscience.com, are not coated with gallium. They are a true mirrored surface behind a UV resistant acrylic and designed for extended outdoor exposure and extreme conditions. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.